This video was created by Vinyl Lake Puma of Vinyl Lake Puma Gaming. Warning, vulgarity awaits. What's going on everybody? This is Vinyl Lake Puma. And you know what? I have a special announcement that I want to make. You know what? I'm fucking done. This is going to be the top five worst weapons in Borderlands the pre-sequel. We're not going to have any of that DPS or analytical test. I mean, some of these guns may redeem themselves that way, but you know what? I just feel like shit when I use these guns. You know what? This is going to be full weapon manufacturers. It's going to be nerf weapons. And you know what it's also going to be? What the fuck were they thinking guns? So let's go ahead and get started with number five. Number five is going to be Bandit... <coughs> scav weapons in Borderlands the pre-sequel. Why on earth would I use a scav version of the Ravager or a scav version of the Doll Carbine when I could easily just use the Doll Carbine or the Torg Ravager? I mean, more magazine size is great and all, but it's not gonna fucking matter when I'm already dead. Who cares? Kill Bandit. Kill Scav. And we have number four, and that's going to be the boxy gun. You know, I remember when Borderlands 2 came out, or before it was going to come out, and there are supposedly going to be weapons that you'd reload, and they would explode in your hands, and I thought, ooh, that's fucking awesome. Until I actually got a fucking gun that explodes when it reloads in my hand. Why? Why did this happen? This is awful, <laughs> and a complete and utter travesty. And that's going to bring us to number three. And you know, it's a real shitload of fuck when you've got the Moonscaper. Oh, the pre-sequel to the Landscaper. I mean, the Landscaper sucked. I mean, it was a gun that you'd literally shoot at an enemy and then the bullets would divert away from the enemy. Well, I guess it's a running joke over a Gearbox because now you get a one measly projectile in the middle. And then we have number two, which is incredibly depressing, and that's the crybaby. You've got unique elements only to this gun. You've got one that is literally allows you to pierce through enemies, and then you have another one that increases your damage after you've killed enemies. You've got, like, wavy bullets and all this stuff, and you know what the problem is? This isn't even as good as a standard scav assault rifle. What were they thinking? And then we have number one. And you know, number one is close and true to my heart. And that is the probe. The probe was actually awesome at this game's launch. It was amazing for the healing abilities that it had, although it did horrible damage. Now, it just does horrible damage and it just doesn't heal like it used to. And I mean, you know, I see why they nerfed it because it was insanely overpowered. But I wish they didn't nerf it, you know? And you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and end this video now. <laughs> so anyway, guys, this is a bit of a satire, so I just wanted to let you all know that. Uh, but again, if you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Borderlands videos and gaming videos in the future. And I also want to know and let me know in the comments what your worst weapon in Borderlands the pre-sequel is. Again, take care and I'll see you all next time.